Hi. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm fine, thanks. And you? Thank you. Thank you for coming for the quick interview. I appreciate your time. I'm happy to be here. I'm asking because we want to know more about your background. Can you tell us about your name and what you do? My name is Elizabeth. I do the physiotherapy. I've been training for 15 years ago from London. I also teach Pilates from 17 years ago. I both works really well together. That's really good. Did you have a dream to become a physiotherapy when you were young? Or what made you start it? What made you... Well, I was working all a lot of job involving in caring for other people. So I knew I wanted to work with people with health related, health improvement. So I was thinking about what to do. So I had a first degree with a body. So I started to do with a sports exercise. So physiotherapy. Yeah, I had a physiotherapy later. Was it hard to study it? Yeah. Two years, very intensive study. Because I had a first degree. And then I had a second degree with two years. So it was no time off. It was just study. When did you set up a business? How did you come about that? Before COVID, I was working through in different places, other people. I just got a bit fed up and sad had to set up for myself. And then COVID started. So, so I had to do it. So, but luckily I had a government support. So I carried on from there. How did you have a relationship and communicate with the client, How, with the hearing clients? I started with the UK deaf sport. There was a lot of deaf clients there. Through Instagram, social media. So my name was spread out there. So people heard about me deaf via physio and Pilates. So I'd have set up a lot of online, a lot of online classes. I was doing about 10 a week, but it's reduced now because we're back to face to face. So I'll do a bit of both. So I'll do more face to face. Do you prefer face to face or online? I like naturally face to face because I can see the body language. It's difficult with online, but it's useful, particularly through the lockdown at home. So it was good exercise, I kept going. So it was good. A bit of both, everything's good. It must be very worrying time during the COVID and the lockdown. But you managed to carry on. You developed quite quickly to change it to online. You have to be creative to change. So change it to Zoom or workshop. And it works well, doesn't it? Tell me briefly about what you're going to be teaching us on the Friday, 8th of July. What's your plans are? Well, I'm going to arrive in Derby. I'm going to do a presentation about the physiotherapy related to the lower back pain. A lot of people have a lower back pain. It doesn't matter whatever through their life, it's very common. It can happen. So it's hope to avoid surgery. It's knowing how to look after yourself. And it's also, I'm going to, it's give you a lot of tips about the lower back pain, how to improve and how to look after yourself and preventing it. I look forward to that. That would be useful. And later on, I will do a Pilates class. 
linked to the back pain so that will be exciting that would be a good video so that would be two workshop perfect really useful a lot of women have a back pain it could be years through pregnancy children carrying all sorts of things can happen the lower back pain through the lockdown as well when people are working on a computer so it could be both a lot of them very common through the through the lockdown so I'm going to try and teach deaf women how to help help themselves that's fantastic I'm really looking forward to that I think I will be there as well perfect I'm looking forward to meet you all it will be a good day of course thank you so much for your time it's give you a quick introduction i see you soon thank you for inviting me i look forward to having derby on the 8th of july so i'll see you there okay bye, -bye.